guess it's like a hundred foot rope now. Is that? <laughs> That's right. It's a hundred foot rope. So <laughs> yesterday, if you can imagine this, right, it's all coiled up in a, in a pile and uh, the six o'clock class came in and um, uh, a Prinia, I don't know if you guys know a Prinia, but she's sitting there and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, like telling the teenagers, cause I have some teenagers in there and I'm like, and she's like, yeah, you guys can do it. You're going to be fine. So I grab the coil and I pick it up and I start walking towards the dumpster, you know, towards the, you know, the West side where the sun is setting. Yeah. And she doesn't realize it's a hundred foot rope and I'm just walking. <laughs> oh my God. And I just keep walking and I just keep walking. She's like, <laughs> what the hell? Right. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I, I walked past the brown doors. I just kept on walking. <laughs> it is the length of the parking lot. It's so long. <laughs> oh, that's awful. That sounds odd. Did you try it? Yes, I did. So I didn't have a timer, but I did manage to pull it, but it was it was rough. <laughs> yeah, now Gary had to help me a little bit. <laughs> hey, Barely. Lovely. Yeah, that uh that hundred foot rope they they were out of the hundred foot and um, they asked me, do I want the 75 foot? We'll give you a deal. And I was like, Nope, I'm waiting for the hundred. <laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> do you think Michelle, it's a little easier to pull like, um, like grip. I, I mean, I think the width of it is better than, you know, what the other one was. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. it, still, it still sucked. I don't know. I, I would need to compare with, with equal weights to really give you a good decision on it. Okay. <laughs> wow, it's seven o'clock. We're just going to go for it. Where is everybody? Fridays are like, people don't show on Fridays. Well, that is too bad, but let's go for it here. So, Turn up my volume. What's up, Shamika? Hey, Shamika, can you hear us? Yes. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Hey, um, Shamika, do you know what a mountain climber is? Um, I think I um, saw how to do them before, but I haven't done them in a while. All right. Well, if you could imagine being in a sprawl on your arms, sort of like a push-up position, what you're going to do is you're going to charge one leg, like your knee, into your chest. And then the other leg will charge into your chest, right? So uh, it, it's it's going to be – it's not going to be that hard. It, you, you'll see it. I demonstrate on the screen just like all the other moves. Um, we've done this, I think, once before, maybe a couple weeks ago. So it's not really new, but we are going to start to see new moves introduced. <clears throat> That's one of them. But I think you guys are going to be fine, okay? So okay. – just uh, move a couple things here. All right, so we're going to get ready for strides, you guys. Okay, here we go. Ten seconds. Really power through those things, okay? As best you can. All right, let's go. I know for certain James can't make Fridays. That's why he's not here. I don't know why Darnell's not here. Or Jenny. Jenny had to work. <laughs> All right. Ten seconds, you guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Yeah. Um, Jacob, where's Jacob at? 
Hey, Nakia. I know Nakia's been doing the workouts on Facebook. What's up, Nakia? It's not the same as live, though. I just had some graduates, um, some advanced level students graduate their 12 weeks today, this morning. If you ever try to log in and it says um, you can't because uh, the user's on or something like that, it's, it's because I'm on a class before you guys. So it's 10 seconds to squats or squat jumps. Depending on your level of fitness, you either do a squat or you do a squat jump. And if you're doing a jump, go for it. Really go high. And if you're doing squats, go low. Notice that my knees aren't jutting out in front of my toes. I'm sitting down nice and low. Eventually, you'll be able to stand up with power. Make sure you keep a nice neutral spine, too. Don't curve your back. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. There's Jacob. About time. I'm trying to get my wife to come. She said it's not for her. Uh, well, you know, Jake, they are recorded. You could always maybe go back to, like, lesson one and maybe just do lesson one with her. You know, lesson one, it's 90 seconds. And, you know, what? it's like not every exercise here is for everyone. Like, so, but, like, a jumping jack. Right, um, uh, just some squats, uh, you know, like anything, even if it's just running in place, uh, if it's just something that's challenging and, and, and it's challenging for a 30 second period of time, you can make progress in this. So, here we go lateral shuffles, five seconds. Try to keep up with me on the screen. We're going to have to be careful with you, Jacob, and not have you lose too much weight. If we get you looking too good, that's when spouses start to get jealous. <laughs> Ten seconds. Come on. Stay with me, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. I'm going to try to bring her into uh, like the kickboxing class, I think, for you guys. That might help. Yeah. She'll love it. Maybe my class would be better than the online version. We got a great, awesome, supportive group. Um, they happen to be mostly women. We have a couple guys, or maybe one guy. No, we have a couple guys. We'd love to have her. So uh, jumping jacks, all right? Everybody knows jumping jacks. Doing with speed, doing with power, doing with pizzazz, or try the star jump. Star, star jump's a little more aggressive. It's one of the hardest exercises we do, especially if you want to try to keep that up for 30 seconds. That is it. not easy. Three seconds, two, one. All right, let's go. It's like once you get good at star jumps, you forget about how to do a jumping jack. <laughs> Especially if you go 12 weeks. 10 seconds. Good job, you guys. Come on, keep it up. Five, four, three, two. One. All right. I'm going to call your sprawls today. Remember, a sprawl is a squat to the ground and get your hands there. Then your hand, your feet sprawl out <laughs> and you come back to a squat and you stand up. Be mindful of your back. Try not to arch so much in your back. 
I like to keep my knees a little bent. How are your legs feeling, Gary? I'm fine. I'm a little tight, but I'm fine. I, I need, I feel like, I don't know. I just need to stretch maybe a, a massage or something, but I don't know if we'll ever have those days again, but uh, here we go. Seven, six, we got sprawls coming up to my call. Get ready. Run in place. Run, 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 run. Sprawl. Sprawl. Two sprawl. Five sprawl. Go. Finish them out. Five of them. Come on. All the way. Come on. Finish them up. If it beeps, you got to finish. All right. Good job, you guys. When we get to week six, and I know you guys will, you'll get to week six. At the end of week six, we all show up with our virtual backgrounds. And um, one of my graduates had a really good idea, and I, I encourage you to do this. Bring a slide of your vacations, all right? And just have a slide, like, so every, like, minute or two, your background changes to another picture of a vacation and it's really cool it's like just to see like what vacations used to be like <laughs> you know what i mean so lunges or lunge jumps notice i'm jumping high with those lunge jumps that's too aggressive you just do lunges and if you need to hang on to something hang on to something if you need a chair or a desk or a wall Nice, neutral, straight spine, big steps. Don't let your knees smash into the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Mountain climbers. This is what I was talking about, uh, Shamika. This is going to be a new move for you. Uh, I think everybody else here has seen a mountain climber. We did it, uh, I think, in week one, okay. uh, maybe week two. Gary, in the military, we did like eight count bodybuilders where we combined the mountain climber and sprawl with a push up. Actually, it was like <laughs> you would start your one, two, three, four, kick it back and pull it back up. Do you have something like that? Well, you horrible, know what? It's not. I can. You and it's I. It's a horrible can. exercise. We'll go over it. I'm putting together like an in-house hit program, and I'm also putting together an advanced level two program. And uh, you know what? If it doesn't fit here, it can definitely fit there. So Shamika, that's a mountain climber right there. Just do your best. I mean, I'm showing you guys a pretty aggressive-looking athletic mountain climber, but just do your best. I've got two ceiling fans today, Michelle and Libby. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. That's one set. And one more to go. I can't wait to get see you guys at the end of next week when we hit our 3030s. 3030s are a milestone. Once we get through 3030s, you can tell all your friends that you are in shape. But I do better than that for you guys, right? Like the second half of this course, I take you from being in shape to being in like awesome shape, like professional shape.
So we're at the top of the list. We're going for strides. If you haven't, like, gone 100 miles an hour yet, this is the, this is it. Let's do it. Let's go. 100 miles an hour. Strides. How fast can you make that? How fast? Come on. Let's see. How? Woo, Michelle. My gosh. The FPSs aren't fast enough to stay with you. Woo. 10 seconds. Come on, you guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, J Jeff, I didn't see you sneak in there. What's up, Jeff? Hey, good morning. Is Lori uh, around? She should be. She said she was joining. I don't know. She was having issues with the registration link from her hotel. But yeah, I missed her at kickboxing. Yeah, she'll be back uh, this afternoon. She's one of my six o'clockers. <laughs> Squats or squat jumps? If you guys are just doing squats and you're not doing the squat jumps, be very disciplined in your technique. If you notice, you'll see me going down to parallel. Like you'll see my thighs parallel to the ground. And I do it with my spine straight. See my spine straight? Keep your back straight. That's probably one of the most important things you can do. If you don't keep your back straight, you can strain something. What's up, Shannon? Good morning. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, something interesting about high intensity interval training is that it will increase the mitochondrial density. Um, and in effect, pretty that much would feed give you a more like in mitochondria, what feeds the cells? What's that? Is the mitochondria what feeds your cells, which is energy? That's right. Mitochondria are like the energy factories in your cells. You need them. In fact, they, they co-evolved along with cells. They're kind of like a cell uh, within a cell. They even have their own DNA, right? They're like these like little creatures that invaded cells one day and work symbiotically with them to give them energy. I'll tell you more about them in a little bit, but lateral shuffles, try to stay with me. There it is. Come on, stay with me. Good job, Libby. Like you're perfectly staying with me, Libby. Oh, 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 Libby, come on. I got a step on you. Catch up. <laughs> Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. If you found uh, yourself joining late today, it's all right. You're still going to get something out of this. If you want to go get a little more, go back to the Facebook page and start from the beginning and maybe hit around. Right? This is live streaming to the Facebook page right now. Let's go there. His class is like they, they, what? What's that? Parts look really fast on this class. It's like they won all over again. Uh, you know, it's it might feel like that, but day one, I don't think you guys could really quite do this the same. Day, day one was 15 minutes, and it was 90 seconds of rest. So we did less exercises. You had a lot more rest. It was a lot less time. Five seconds. Oh, 
remember, we're not just trying to get through the workout. We're like each exercise is a challenge within a challenge. It's like how hard can you work? How fast can you move? How high can you jump? How hard can you work for this 30 second round? 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. As we go past week six and we start heading into the advanced stage, you won't be able to put a thousand percent into each exercise. It, it, we'll, we'll enter a new sort of phase where, okay, you will look at the workout like it's a long workout, but you, all your hard work, all of the energy, everything that you put in to learning how to work hard is going to carry you through. You really want to develop that skill. You want to develop that ability to sprint. All right, this isn't a 400-meter run. This isn't a 200-meter run. This is like a 50-meter run or a 100-meter run. All right, you're, you're like a Ben Johnson going for it. All right, you're going to sprawl to the call. You're going to run in place. And when I yell sprawl, you do a sprawl. Here we go. Start running. Sprawl. Two sprawl. Two sprawl. Two sprawl. Two sprawl. Job, you guys. I had a lady this morning in the advanced graduate class. She was yelling, 15 sprawl. <laughs> Imagine that just like, and, and like multiple times, 15, 15. Like it was, um, I wish I could show you like a, or give you a glimpse of the future, but I don't want to scare you guys. But you might also say, what? We're going to be doing that? We can do that? Really? Yeah, I'll be like, yep, really. You can do that. You'll be able to do star jumps for 45 seconds with speed and power. So lunge jumps, very disciplined in your technique. Straight body, good steps. You can stand in place if you want, and you could just lower yourself. You just go down and up, down and up. You can also, if you'd like, to try lunging backwards. That's an option as well. Oh, you know, I don't see Jerry. I just realized I don't see Jerry this morning. You're not out there, are you, Jerry? Uh, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, you guys, this is it, right? Last exercise. And then we have Friday ahead of us. <laughs> I don't know if any of you are new to exercising in the morning, but um, when you exercise in the morning, the rest of the day is just so much better. It's more productive. Uh, it's just you feel better. One of the other benefits of high intensity interval training is that it releases uh, dopamine. Dopamine is the body's drug. It's like, I don't know how many more times more powerful it is than heroin or cocaine or whatever, but like it's your body's way of feeling good and it's released in this kind of training. So you'll actually feel good. You'll feel high. You'll feel like a euphoria. So here we go, mountain climbers. Come on, this is your last rep, your last one. So give me good ones. 100 miles an hour. Charge those knees. At the end of the workout, give me, a, I want a sweaty selfie too. So come on in. You don't have to show your face, but just 
Be there for me at the end. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, you guys. Come on in. Give me a little smile if you can. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One more for Shamika. She just joined us. Hey, Shamika. Hey, so tomorrow morning, um, Danielle is doing the core. That's part of this. If you guys can join us, join us. If you don't have that link, if you don't know what that link is, just hang on here for a minute. I'll put it into the chat. Okay. So otherwise, I'll see you guys uh, Monday. All right. Have a great weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye, Gary. Bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Hey Gary. hey, Gary, that core link is, um, do you think that's appropriate for Heather? Is that like uh, the plank and, or is that too advanced? Danielle is in great shape. Inspiring person to like she her 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 health, her well being, and her knowledge is infectious. So if you can have Heather um, connect with Danielle, regardless, I think it would be a good thing. Now, Danielle will probably do some moves that are. Actually, here, here, let me get that link real quick because I think a couple of these ladies are waiting for that link. Let me get that link. Ho hold on, ladies, okay? I'll get it for you. Uh, let me see. Uh, you, could just, you could just email Gary. Someone else might have questions, and I'll talk to you a little bit later. All right, all right. That sounds good. Thank you. Yep, thank you, Jacob. So I'm giving you guys this link in just a moment. Hold on, ladies. Uh, meetings. All righty. So are you guys all familiar how to use chat? You know how chat works? I just put the link into the chat and you'll need that link to access the core class, which is tomorrow morning at seven. And it's not, nothing like what we do here today. Like, you're not going to jump. You're not going to hop. You're not going to leap. Everything's going to be stationary. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to look a little bit like yoga, but you're going to challenge your core. And um, it's more than that, too. So I hope that, and you'll see me. I'll be here with my wife, our dogs, all that good stuff. So thanks for joining me today, Shannon and Nakia and Jeff. And say hello to Lori for me, Jeff. Okay, see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.